Hey, welcome to Craigslist of Tips. I've got some really exciting stuff I want to share with you. Some of you may have seen my article about how to do a partial in less than an hour where we use silicone putty. The silicone putty is expensive and it's not super accurate. Well, I've come across something and I know there are quite a few of you that I've done the demonstration with using a hot melt compound. The good news is the hot melt compound is now available through DVA. You can get the system for a fraction of the price that it was being offered for in the past. And it's such a neat technique, I just have to share with you how it works, how easy it is, and how accurate this is. I can actually do a partial denture while sitting here at the bench in under 20 minutes and completely finished without having to go to a boil out tank. So it's really pretty exciting. The way it works is we use, uh, DVA calls it zap form putty. And you'll find all kinds of uses for this material. So instead of using wax on these type of cases, we use a putty. It's really kind of a pliable, flexible material. It'll hold the teeth in position just long enough to make a matrix. You'll find ways to use it for dams and all kinds of things. You can make flippers. You can make brucks or splints with it and all kinds of fun stuff. This is really a slick way to do these partial dentures. But using this old silicone, this material is not reusable, it's expensive. And with the technique that we're using, these sticks are less than a dollar a piece. So you can invest for less than a dollar. But honestly, the real culprit with this is the acrylic we use to make these with. Because most of you guys aren't going to do this technique. You flask it because the acrylic itself is really not good enough to go up with your name on it. The materials are made with a Tetris Ammon, and the Ammon, at the end of the chemistry, when the material turns to PMMA, there's 15% free monomer. Most of it is peroxide because there is a, a material that's given off during the chain reaction. It's, it is that peroxide, and the peroxide burns the patient's tissues, so it's really not acceptable. But Horaeus has a new material, Palo Express Ultra, and Instead of ammon, it has an acid, a barbaric acid-based material. So at the end of, or where it gets to termination, there's less than 1% free monomer. There's also some little rubberized zones. So when the appliance, if it slips through the sink and hits onto the floor, it doesn't break. It's really a nice, durable, tough, impact-resistant material. Okay, so to do this technique, <coughs> it's so easy. We just take some of this zap form putty and we're going to place it over the saddle area take the teeth clean the teeth up put the diatorics in because remember we're not going to go to the boil out tank so I just place the tooth into position It's just, just so simple and so easy. And once we get the teeth into the putty, then we're going to close it into the articulator and make sure the teeth are exactly how they need to be. We can line up the long axis, put the teeth into position, make sure that we like how they're placed. And again, the occlusal table, make sure the occlusal table is correct. And then just contour the material so it looks like real tissue. And it's just so simple and so easy and so quick. And you can use a blunt instrument. Just kind of stretch it. Look how easy it stretches. You can stretch it up into the interproximal areas. Push it up into the embrasures. If we want to stipple it, if you like to have, if you have clients that like a, a stippled look, because the matrix that we're going to make is going to pick up all the detail. So I like to use a toothbrush, but if we have a, even a bristle brush, I like to open the bristles up just a little bit, and you can just kind of stipple the surface. If you want to remove some of the, the, your fingerprints that get into the material, just simply rub it a little bit with your finger 
you can see the nice stippled surface. On the lingual aspect, we do the same thing. Contour up into the embrasure spaces. We can cut this excess off. Now, that part I'm not going to use anyway. I'm going to leave that for an area to put the acrylic into the appliance. Make sure that you have the contours that you like. Push it up into the inner proximals real nice and tight. And then when we're ready to make the matrix, start in the anterior portion. Make sure you have a nice stop in the anterior portion. Make sure you have a nice flow down into the vestibulum. And these are only as good as the matrix itself. So you need to have a nice stop on the distal. If it's a distal free end, make sure you have a nice land area to pick up a stop. Go over the occlusal. And then we're going to pick up some of the detail on the lingual aspect because I don't want to have to recontour that in acrylic. So now we'll have an area that we can pour the acrylic into, and here's our matrix. And again, with the DVA hot melt material, it doesn't stick to the model. The teeth will stick to the hot melt compound. The acrylic won't stick to the hot melt compound, so it's a perfect combination to make a seamless, easy prosthesis in a short amount of time. So we'll let this cool off. While this has uh, cooled off, we're ready to divest. So we simply pull the material off. We're going to boil out. Here's the boil out technique. If there's any residual putty, you just pick it up like this. So now we have a nice clean matrix that's ready to go. To get any of the residual putty off the, the framework. Just pick it up with some of the putty itself because we can reuse this putty over and over again. To get it off of the model you simply push it on the putty into the model and look at that the model is clean as a whistle. So now we're basically ready to put separator on and cure the appliance. But there's another use for the putty. You can, you'll find all kinds of uses for this material. We can block out the undercuts Simply take a little piece of the putty, put it into the undercut area, and then we can sculpt the undercut area. Just push it, move it around. You'll find that you can do all kinds of stuff. Like if you're doing, a, let's say, an all-on-four case, and you're picking up temporary cylinders, you can make a dam and hold the acrylic in place. Uh, if you're duplicating a model and you have... A bar underneath you can use the putty to block out the undercuts and it really you'll find all kinds of uses for it so now let's go ahead to the posterior abutment block out that undercut now we're ready to put the frame in place but first we just take some separator apply the separator if you want to you can soak the appliance place the framework on and watch this you may even hear it snap into place it just pops over this this material is flexible enough that it'll pop over any undercut but it's a lot it has a firmer seat than the silicone so you know that the teeth are in a, a nice accurate position now we have access we can mix the acrylic up pour it into the opening, put it into the pressure pot, and in less than 20 minutes you're ready to deliver the appliance. All you have to do is remove the appliance, the teeth stay in the acrylic, and the acrylic doesn't stick to this material, and the teeth come off real easy. Just They pop off real easy. This is a technique that I hope you'll find will save you some time, make you some money, and again, check that out. No boil out right at the bench, it's easy, it's fast, 
and I actually enjoy doing partial dentures now because I wind up making some money.